Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge! Where we mix and match all sorts of different animal genes to see what kind of curious creatures we can create. And oh my goodness, after a little bit of a vacation from the lab, I have to say that I'm actually quite proud I was able to rattle off that tongue twister without, you know, tripping over my own twisted tongue. So, welcome back you guys! Yes, it has been a little while because things have been so busy, but come on! How could we possibly resist some of the amazing genetic genetic experiments that we run in this lab, especially because with those new portals that have been opening in the zoo crafting realm, it seems like some of these curious crossbreeds might actually have a future in some of our other series as well. But for now, we're going to go ahead and we are going to stretch out and we are going to grab our little checklist, put on our safety goggles, double check our lab coats, and get ready to go ahead and add in some of your guys' ideas for our experiments. Like, for instance, one of you who had the brilliant idea of mixing an adorable, absolutely precious, totally just everything about you is so cute a border collie with none other than a rabbit, a rabbit with those very big ears. <laughs> And as soon as I thought about like gigantic big eared border collie puppies, I knew we absolutely had to go ahead and dive into this. So just a very quick thank you because this lovely border collie is actually from Pug Owned over on The Sims 4 Gallery, a wonderful creator of so many fantastic, realistic looking Sims breeds, I have to say. And so that's how little Anjali has actually come to join us. I would love to know those of you guys who actually have border collies or like miniature border collies at home, like could you guys let me know because my friend has a miniature border collie and are they all that energetic i'm pretty sure they are but i, I just need to know like he's like 10 years old and he's got all of the energy and the zoomies forever so oh my gosh wait a second energy and zoomies from border collie energy and zoomies from a bunny <gasps> I didn't even think about that! But if we actually go ahead and mix together the zoomies from a border collie and the zoomies from a bunny, you probably have something that could rival a chinchilla in its just lightning fast speed. That is so hilarious! I thought this was all going to be about the cute little ears, but I totally forgot that both of these animals are very, very fast. Oh, we should do a bunny and a cheetah! Where are my notes? Where are my notes? I need to write that down. Oh, bunny and cheetah. This, friends, is why you should always walk around with a notebook and a very good pen. You never know when a eureka moment might strike. Uh, but all of that said, I want to let you guys know where on earth did we grab this little bunny for Sims 4. This is one of the two types of rabbits, one based off the cat model, you could say. <clears throat> This one's based off a small dog, cough, cough. Uh, but anyway, these rabbits are actually the result of the amazing work of Kalino. As always, she has her amazing little haunches because we've got these little back haunches that show up, as you can see on the bunny. You've got the tiny little tail, you've got the ears, and you've got the whiskers. So if you too want to add a bunny into your Sims 4 world, now you know where to go. But all of that said, let's go into the lab, let's grab those petri dishes, and let's get ready for Anjali and for Casey to actually become uh, the proud parents of some curious crossbreed creations. And really quickly, thank you so much to Molly Casey who left a comment in our previous videos that got her selected by the random generator that said we should do a husky and a tiger. I 100% 100% think that those would be really cute looking too. And as usual friends, if you too want to end up, you know, being named after one of our wonderful parents of the the puppies and cats and like rabbits and unicorns and anything else that comes out of the lab, uh, or if you would like to go ahead and suggest some of the amazing crossbreeds we could do, just leave a comment down below and the random comment generator just might pick you. There, okay, I think we, uh, you know, we dotted all the I's, crossed all the T's, like, did anything else you're supposed to do with the alphabet, and covered myself in case HR needs to get a call. <clears throat> let's begin the experiments. All right, let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up another one of your guys' names from the name list. A hedgehog with a cat! Oh my gosh! Can I make a hedgehog? I'm going to have to see if I can do something along those lines, but for now, I want to go ahead and welcome... Lena! Oh, wow! Okay, I wasn't expecting... Ooh, two-colored eyes! That's really cool. 
But this is a little girl whose name is going to be Lena, because Lena Payne suggests a hedgehog mixed with a cat. I will have to see if I can get my hands on some hedgehog jeans to toss in here. Uh, oh, and this is so funny. This is so funny. Lena, you actually, Lena, you actually ended up becoming jumpy, just like I was thinking. Like, jumpy and energetic. I think jumpy is probably... Okay, active would have actually been better, but jumpy definitely fits for the bunny for sure. Harry, that definitely covers the border collie, and uh, vocal. Okay, that's adorable. But we're gonna have to see whether or not Lynette grows up and inherits any of the extra interesting traits like the haunches, the tail, the whiskers, or the ears from their parent. But for now, you know, don't, don't, don't fret. Often the oddest puppies look like, like the oddest end result puppies just look completely normal when they're babies. But I have faith that things are going to get really weird as they grow up. All right, let's grab another Petri dish, pull up another name. And we've got, oh, look at that tail. Okay, we definitely need more Border Collie suggestions, you guys. All right, next up is, <gasps> you're so cute. Look at this little one. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is Zaymon. Zaymon, welcome, welcome. Oh, you're precious. Zaymon, you are a troublemaker who is a vocal and playful, and you suggest a, a Dust and Dreams family line with a mini Greyhound. Dust and Dreams, ooh, is that a challenge I haven't heard of? From Dreams, there we go. And a mini Greyhound, you know what? I, ha I don't think we've done very many Greyhounds. What the heck? Why haven't we done? Okay, where's my cheetah again? All right, Greyhound and Cheetah. Ah, why are you guys just the fonts of inspiration? I swear, your curiosity and creativity keeps me going, friends. All right, so hmm, Dustin Dreams, I'm gonna have to look that one up. But let's pluck forward another Petri dish. And we're gonna go ahead and we are going to end up welcoming... Whoa! Lizard! Lizard! You've got red eyes! I mean, wait, 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 wait! Maybe that's like an albino bunny kind of inheritance. Okay, we're gonna have to see if you end up getting the ears. And Lizard, you are a glutton who's a troublemaker and friendly. All a very... <laughs> so now I just kind of envision like a little lizard crawling in to the dumpster and eating all of the food, but then popping its head out and just like tilting it. And there's like a cute little like piece of trash, like a can or, or maybe a cute little banana peel sitting on top of its head. Oh, so you couldn't even get mad when they got in the trash because he's just too cute. And we've got the flop ears and a curly tail. I wasn't expecting the curly tail on so many of these guys, but I'm not going to complain about it. All right. And then let's add in the next one in our Petri dishes. Ooh, look at the, at the tail again! This is so interesting. The tail, the eyes, and the coloration once more is going to be welcoming Forest. And Forest, what a lovely name. You are going to be a couch potato who is a sleuth and aggressive, and you suggest crossing a female forest dragon and a male wolf. So let me add in wolf and forest dragon. We can totally do that. I still haven't read um, the Wings of Fire series yet, but every time I mention it, everyone's like, do it! And Christmas is coming, so I know my niece is going to want the latest things. Maybe I should really get in on that. Warriors was so exciting and fun after all. All right, next Petri dish puppy. And what do we have? <gasps> Little Echo, welcome. From Not Nameless Channel, you have provided the name Echo. I love this patterning because it reminds me so much of some of our first laboratory experiments with the fox and the hound. Not the exact coloration, but oh, I'm getting such a nostalgic flashback. And Echo, <laughs> and this is very fitting. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Echo turned out vocal. That is so freaking cute. Vocal couch potato who is hairy. Yes, that is also adorable. And Not Nameless Channel, you suggest a Arctic fox with an Australian shepherd. There's some irony for you. I always love it when the random generator actually ends up like plucking up a suggestion that's related to the actual animal we're working on. So apparently, well, this is a border collie. You know what I mean? Australian shepherds look somewhat similar. All right, so let's see. We're gonna pull up the next Petri dish. <gasps> is it the last one already? Oh my goodness. Oh man, I'm so used to like having so many mixes. 
But this is the last little one. Okay, okay. Oh, look at those eyes. Look at the coloration. Oh, I'm glad we got at least a few spots. None of them that inherit Angelie's actual patterning though. But this one is going to be little Carrie. Carrie, welcome, welcome. And Carrie, I don't think you can produce wool, so we're gonna mix that up again. But you can be vocal, hairy, and independent. And I think it's really interesting that we ended up with like a lot of vocal puppies. Two, let's see. Three, four, yeah, I think we ended up with four vocal puppies. <laughs> and one aggressive forest. You're an aggressive sleuth couch potato. I wonder if you're just very possessive of your like nap spots. And yeah, it doesn't look like we had any of the puppies who ended up inheriting uh, like the beautiful patterning that Anjali has. I was kind of hoping for this patterning with bunny ears. I thought that would be amazing. Um, but let's see, uh, Lizard, you kind of look like you inherited some albino bits and bombs. Echo and Carrie. Okay, so let's go ahead and grow these little ones up. And then we're going to see if they end up becoming big, like their mother Angeli, then they are actually not going to be able to inherit the teeny tiny haunches, the ears, the whiskers, and the tail. But if they end up becoming small like Casey, that is an automatic inheritance of all of these wonderful rabbit traits. So let's go ahead. Uh, Lina, you're up first. <gasps> Lina, you're tiny! You're gonna be a tiny little, oh, long-snouted bunny! Okay, I'm very excited about this. And you already have the tail, I have to say. I'm very impressed. You're like, you're on it. You're on it. We'll get you the little whiskers. Why are those so cute? Oh, I forgot we have, like, elephant jeans. Oh, my. Oh, my. I'm gonna have to do something very interesting with that soon. Uh, but let's go ahead and find the haunches next, because I like to do the ears last as a treat. All right, Lena, you ready? Little ears! <laughs> I am never not going to be in love with those ears. I love it when we get the bun bun ears. Very interesting to see that they're actually like on the side of the head with Lena too. Because they are following more Angelie's placement. But Casey's like, don't worry, my children might have more upright ears soon. Alright, so there you go little Lena. You're quite adorable. Now we're going to move on to Zaymon. Zaymon, big or small? <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> okay, so Zaymon ended up big with a bunny tail. And at first I was like, gosh darn it, one of the most interesting coat patterns we got and we didn't actually manage to get like the bunny ears. But I'm gonna take this because the idea of a large dog having a bunny tail, it just hit me how freaking cute that is. I love that. I wonder if he enjoys carrots. I know some dogs really love them. Oh, that's such a cute idea. All right, Zaymon, you didn't turn out to be my long-eared bun bun baby, but you are quite fascinating because you got the bunny tail. That's so funny. Next up, we have Little Lizard, who's kind of like, like an albino version, maybe? Nope. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they look so different because they don't have any of the like thick fur from their mom. They just kind of like have thinner fur from their rabbit dad. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Lizard, you are a friendly troublemaker. You can get into the big bins uh, and you also have the little bunny tail. That is so freaking cute. I kind of wish we could come over and, you know, like come in and be like, oh, there you go. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that because that's so cute. Very rarely do I go ahead and try to add any other alterations to uh, to these bun buns, or like to the creatures once they are done being created. Whoops, ah, there we go. Once they are done being created, but I have to say, come on, if they're gonna get a bun bun tail, I want them to have a bun bun tail. Whoops, all right, that's a little too much, a little too much. There we go. Oh, that's so cute! I highly approve of that. All right, moving on. Forrest, you're up next, my dear. Oh, wow. Oh, you turned out beautiful. Look at that fur. Look at the bunny tail! <laughs> Even with those, like, dark-colored eyes, I think that's totally gonna work out fine. I'm absolutely making her have a bunny tail. Like, can you imagine how disconcerting it would be to be barked at by a very large creature that also has a very cute little bunny tail? It would teach you to properly fear, like, the, the dangers of how dangerous, like, very aggressive rabbits could be. All right, there you go, Forrest. Wow, she's standing at attention. 
She's literally just standing at attention. You good? Okay! I'm not gonna question this. Moving on! Forrest is ready to go protect something in a literal forest that requires, like, an unblinking stare. And, like, that's amazing. Alright, Echo, big or small? You gonna inherit those ears, my friend? Yes! Oh my gosh, and you already have me! <laughs> okay, little Echo already has quite the ears before we even add anything else. But let's go ahead and snag those bunny haunches. Oh my gosh. And then, let's see, are the ears gonna make a difference? <gasps> they make a difference! <laughs> This, this is what I wanted when we stepped into the lab today, my friends. Chaotic cuteness. It, it, this is perfect. This is, this is what, this is what the laboratory is all about. All right. Carrie, are you going to follow Echo? Uh, or like be the Echo of Echo? <gasps> Carrie! With the tail! Okay, I'm gonna leave that tail. Carrie, oh my gosh! This, you look nothing like your siblings! This, once again, reminds me of the unpredictability and the excitement of the random genetics. You never know exactly what you're going to get, and that is what makes it so fun every time. Ah, so, let's celebrate this wonderful experiment by capping it off with the ears. <laughs> And I would have to say, friends, that this has been a success. Look at that. I think actually Carrie is the one to take the absolute cake with um, with being the blend of the genes. Because look at the tail, the ears, the face. Whoops, did I remember the whiskers? All right, let's get you the whiskers. All right, whiskers real quick. I could have sworn I gave them to you, Carrie. All right, there we go. Yeah, whiskers, haunches, yeah, the doggy patterning and fur. This is perfect. This is this is science. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like to toss Carrie a little carrot treat, I suppose. I bet they like eating carrots. Probably. <laughs> and if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye